So yeah, here's my two 27 inch Thunderbolt displays connected. The first one's connected to my Mac Studio with one of these Apple official Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapters. So I've got that coming off of this one. And then the other one is daisy chained um, off of that monitor. Uh, I heard something about there's only a max of two that you can have, but I've already seen a setup with an iMac with the iMac screen and then two additional Thunderbolts on top of that. Now we could, and I've done it before, just connect that same Thunderbolt cable. Let me open up. This is an M1 MacBook Air, which is not much to write home about. Now, if I unplug this, obviously, I'll lose my monitors. But then I plug it into the M1. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. And then unlock it, right? And as soon as it wakes up, um, I've got, I'm in, I'm in there, but it only seems to work on just one. Now, if I have that connected to power and then of course close the, the clamshell as it were, um, <clears throat> it will turn off. Uh, but if it's connected to power, it won't turn off if you set it up right. Uh, let's see. So what I want to try to do is see why we can't run two displays off of this. So it's only recognizing the MacBook Retina and then the Thunderbolt display. So I believe... This is uh, Apple system blocking it from, although wait a minute. Nah, see you can't add another display. Another thing though, if you run another computer, I've noticed that you've got now Apple's new way of sharing from one computer to another computer to where you could add more monitors. But I don't think anybody's gonna be crazy enough to do that. <clears throat> But yeah, I don't see anywhere else where I can add an additional Thunderbolt display, even though there's one connected in there and it should recognize it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, doesn't appear to be, what if I stop mirroring? So now this Thunderbolt display is my main screen, but it still doesn't give me the option to add an additional Thunderbolt. So. Unfortunately, only one Thunderbolt off of a MacBook Air. Um, this is one of the first M1s though. So I don't understand why it wouldn't work with the MacBook Pro 14s and 16s, but it should. But keep in mind, your 100% cash back Guaranteed, I think I have this even set up on my MX3. No, I must have disconnected it. Yeah, oh, this is a different mouse anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, keep in mind, Apple has that 14 day full cash, um, <clears throat> full cash back, 100% clean return policy. Um, <clears throat> does not work with adapters like this. Um, I tried it. It might work on some machines, but it didn't work in my setup. Again, I had to go with 100% Apple adapter. Um, it's about 49 bucks, although I've seen them used too. Anyway, hopefully that helps some of you that are considering getting 
a used Thunderbolt display, which by the way, is just freaking great. I mean, I just love this thing. Now I've, I've obviously I've bought these two, but I got them all over the house. Now I got two more there. Um, and you can get them dirt cheap. So this one, I think I got for 40 bucks with no screen. And one of those ones in my office set up here, I got with no screen, but I just took a screen off of another one and they're super easy. They're just held on there by magnets. So yeah, anyway, <clears throat> there it is. Just wanted to show folks, you can literally plug it in the back of a Mac Studio at least, maybe because it supports so many monitors and it'll come on once I wake it up there we go and then the second one comes on right after that so yeah um, I'm not using the Astro Pad for anything um, I just accept to connect to my iPad so it's no not a part of this setup however uh, one issue I was having is that if you want to run <clears throat> <clears throat> two computers off of one Thunderbolt monitor, you might want to get into the Luna display um, fob that you connect into the back at the Thunderbolt connection and then use that to switch back and forth. So yeah, there you go. Got Cinema 4D so I can work in there. And then over here, you have your second monitor, which is great, great for video editing. Um, it just, and actually working in Cinema 4D or anything, really, I don't need to tell you how great it is to have so much more workspace and then have your preview window just be huge. It's just fantastic. And these, I mean, you can use them in this, uh, uh, best resolution you'll get out of them is this 2560 by 1440 but I mean look at that it's makes everything super small uh, if you really wanted to look at that kind of crazy detail I mean obviously the resolution is not going to be as good as a 4k monitor but I think people are misunderstanding this sort of scaling and uh, yeah Personally, I really like this scaled look. Any of these upper scaled versions just are so much easier on my eyes when I'm working within a program. And if you are using it for editing and you are using this external monitor, the Obviously, the monitor on this side, I can just go and change it. See, there's the two Thunderbolts right there. I can change this one to be 2560. And that's its natural res resolution, 2560 by 1440. So then you can kind of have your higher resolution here, right? Um, even though that's like doing something weird it's caught in some kind of a mid mid render status or something uh, and this one didn't have any dead pickles but it, uh pickles well there's no pickles involved here um but there are some scratches on it um and there's another one over here if you can see that um there you go there's a better quality version so so yeah you can have the zoom so that you have all your controls easier to see and then sort of your master image over on this side if you want so you can have them at different resolutions which i think is great so but i'm gonna have to go and change my back <clears throat> um cameras and the audio work on both of them too so i mean it's kind of nice because if you don't like if you've got to do Zoom meetings, yeah. Um, you can't have the audio 
you can't use one computer and have the audio be different on the two different monitors. Um, I'm not sure if you could do that even with the, uh, uh, you know, the newer displays, but, um, so yeah, there you go. There's my, uh, there's my setup and, uh, just wanted to make a video showing that it's working on a MacBook Air, an M1 and an M1 Mac Studio. Haven't tried it with the MacBook Pros. Um, it, these 27 inch Thunderbolts work with my 2020 Intel iMac. Yeah, so I think that if there are already issues with it not working, it's gonna be stuff that's set up um, because Apple doesn't want you to. Just like you see, if I plug my MacBook Air in there, it only gives me the one monitor. Whereas the Mac Studio gives me two, maybe even three or four. I, I should try it. I should see if I can plug multiple. Maybe I'll do that next. But anyway, this video is long enough, so hopefully that helps.